Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Fraser's Coffee Roasters Peru Chunky Coffee Beans and a quick word and a big thank you to Fraser of Fraser's Coffee Roasters for sending me these um, coffees to review and um, there was this card in the box and it says Hi, I am Fraser, I am a sole coffee roaster from Sheffield it is my passion to bring customers a true coffee experience from around the world, all year round. I have been roasting delicious, fresh and quality seasonal blends since June 2014. All my coffee is batch roasted, giving me complete control by tasting, cupping, profiling. I ensure I produce consistently great coffee. And there is... All the contact information for Fraser's Coffee Roasters there. And I'll add um, links to the website in the um, description below. And that's it. Um, Fraser's Coffee Roasters, Artisan Coffee Roasters, based in Sheffield. So thanks to Fraser. And let's take a look at the um, pack. Well, if you see me unboxing... Um, it got slightly um, a bit of leakage from a cold brew and it sort of um, went onto the pack but it didn't permeate the pack so the beans were in perfect condition when um, I opened them. Um, this is a single origin coffee this one and the taste notes are nut, chocolate and lime. The origin is Peru Chunky, Tampa Tambo Pata region. The varietal is Bourbon Katura and Catimor. The processing is washed pulp and the cup quality score is 86. Um, the last reviewer did um, the Italian blend um, for Fraser's Coffee Roasters. I think that was in the 70s, so this has a much higher score. Um, this one. So, there's co more contact information there for Fraser's Coffee Roasters. Um, roasted, medium, whole beans. Um, consumed within four weeks for peak freshness. And the roasted date was the 4th of July. And the sort of best before date is the 4th of December. So, that is it for the pack. If we take a look at the beans, real nice um, quality looking beans these, good medium, um, medium roast to them, all evenly roasted and pretty uniform in size all the beans as well. The aroma, it's very chocolatey and as the pack taste notes suggest, there is a wonderful hint of lime um, to the aroma too. It also has a slight earthiness um, to a noticed this one, but as I say, really good quality beans. Take a quick look at the ground coffee, slight sort of brownish orangey look to it. But when ground, the aroma seems to totally change with a sort of spiciness appearing from nowhere. Um, the lime becomes a bit more zingy. Um, and a slight floral hint there too. I've taken a real sort of liking to um, Peruvian coffees recently. So I'm really um, looking forward to trying this one. So... Taste-wise, it's chocolatey with a slight nuttiness, which I'm picking up as a sort of hint of hazelnut. Um, the limeness is there too. That gives it a sort of smooth, clean finish. So there's no sort of lingering aftertaste to this one and virtually no bitterness either. Um, what, when, when drank as a single espresso... Um, which I mostly did, as it's quite a strong coffee. It's um, quite acidic, which was a bit more noticeable when made in the um, Aero Press. But it's mostly a smooth and creamy coffee with a sweetness that reminds me of a sort of sweet biscuit. Um, and it's a coffee that left me quite satisfied after each cup. Um, so I did drink less of this one. I don't know if that 
that's down to the caffeine content or um, what, but I was leaving it a lot longer between cups when I was drinking this one. I would say it's not fully to my taste compared to the Italian roast, but it does have a nice distinctive flavour. So this gets a 4.25 out of 5 from me, and I can re recommend it as it's a good, as I say, a good distinctive Peruvian coffee. So, I'd like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick review. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.